coulda, woulda, shoulda. Words of a fool. That was told to me um, at a point in my life when that was something I said a lot. You know, it wasn't something I tried to say a lot, but, you know, the rest of while I was just like, well, I could have, I guess I should have, you know, if I would have done that. And, you know, he was always saying that to me, always could have, would have, should have, words of a fool. And now that I think about it, when I try and refer it to other people, it makes sense. I mean, I'm, I, I know that everyone says it. I'm pretty damn sure that everyone said the, one of those three words at least, at least once in their life. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has to have said that word. And, um, you know, I agree with that quote sometimes because I deal with a lot of people who, um, maybe don't agree with choices I've made in my life. And they're always saying, you know, like, recently I had been arrested and I was put in jail because I had illegal drugs on me. I wasn't doing the drugs at the time, and I wasn't selling or anything like that. They were just on me, and a cop had stopped me, searched me, found them. Did he have probable cause? No. But whatever. That's not the part of the video. Anyway, what had happened to me was I went to jail for the night, and I got out. You know, and I had to tell my mom what happened. And she started going into, like, a lecture. Why would you do that? How could you? You should have done this. You could have done that. If you would have just done this, that wouldn't have happened. And it's like, okay, you're right. Maybe if I hadn't have done that, it wouldn't have happened. But here's the thing. All you people that use those words, you need to realize something. Shoulda, woulda, coulda are all things of the past. Okay? The past cannot be changed. The only thing you can do with the past is learn from it. You can't go back and fix anything that's happened. So when people tell you, you should have done this, you could have done that, well, if you would have just done that, tell them straight up. This is what I said to my mom. I said, listen, it doesn't matter what you say at this point. It doesn't matter what I should have done or what I could have done or what I would have done. What matters is this is what I did, this is what happened, and nothing can change that. So all I can do is move on and learn from it. And, you know, the more I sat and analyzed it, it was just true. None of us have time machines. None of us can go back in time and fix something. I mean, maybe sometimes people that are, you know, have deja vu and stuff, can see, you know, they can, they see something and they've seen it before, but most of the time, you know, by the time you're seeing it again, it's too late. It's not like you get deja vu to the point where you're like, oh, I remember waking up that morning and I had oatmeal and then I got in the car and had an accident. You know, because a lot of the time deja vu is not triggered until you experience it. So, you know, I mean, like, your deja vu, I guess, could hit in when you're eating your oatmeal, but the chances that it's going to show you that you're going to get in the car and have a car accident and things like that probably isn't going to happen. So, you know, there's no point in looking at the past unless you're trying to learn from it. Because you can't fix the past. The only thing you can do is worry about the present and look forward to the future. So next time someone tells you that you should have done this, or you could have done that, or if you would have just done this, you say, you're right. Or say you're wrong if you don't agree with them. But if you agree with them, say you're right. But I can't fix it. I can't change it. So there's no point in, you know, getting upset over it or making it an issue again because nothing can be done about it. And you move on. I mean, honestly, I don't know of any scenarios that you can go back in time and fix. You know, you can always apologize to someone if you've hurt them in the past. You can always pay your fines if you get tickets. You know, you can always be forgiven most of the time. 
but you can never change what was done. You can't take away any kind of hurt or pain or suffering that you caused to anyone or yourself. So, learn from it. Learn that you don't want to put someone through that again or yourself. And don't do it again. It's pretty simple. You know, I was involved with marijuana and I enjoyed it a lot at the time. And I still have friends that do it. I have family that does it sometimes, you know. But I don't, you know, I don't hold it against anyone. I'm happily sober. And I've been sober for 13 weeks now. So, you know, anything can be done. And you just have to make the decision that you want to change it. And not let it happen again and not let it affect you. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that I got, you know, in trouble because I was at a point in my life where I probably wouldn't have stopped. I probably would have gone to the next higher drug. Because marijuana is just a gateway drug. It just makes it easier to try other things. So I'm really glad that I got caught. I still have nothing against people that smoke it. You know, I know what it does for people. I enjoyed it at one time. But I just don't believe in putting myself back in that position you know it's a it's a bitch on your body let me tell you i've never eaten so much in my life but after i smoked a fucking blunt dude yeah eat a lot anyway video is totally getting off course but i'm just saying if you want to learn from your mistakes and you want to fix them do it try not to do what you did before you know, because you can't go back and fix the past, but you can change the future.